Hey gang, Dr. Jeff here, Legacy Chiropractic, your Northeast Indiana chiropractor. Going to a town near you soon. As a matter of fact, I'm coming all over the world from the World Wide Web. Today, I wanna to talk about the difference between dry heat and moist heat. Okay, so if you're having muscle spasms, if you're having pain anywhere, and it's been greater than 72 hours, and it's not from an acute injury, you didn't just fall, and just get into a car accident, something like that, and you've got these discomforting pains or tight muscles or things like that, most people will use dry heat. In other words, they'll get a hot pack or they'll get uh, one of those rice things and put it in the microwave and then put it on your neck or put it on your back. The challenge with that is, yes, it feels good because the heat will draw blood to muscles and relax the muscles. The problem is that because it's dry heat, that it's going to take blood from deep in the tissue and raise it up to the top surface of the muscles. The muscles will feel good because they'll get some blood supply and they're gonna relax, but you're dehydrating the deep joints. So hours later, you'll get stiff and sore. That's why it is recommended, at least I recommend, okay, that you use moist heat if you're gonna use heat. Use a towel that's wet, hot towel that's wet, bath, shower, because what happens is the water, the moisture will drop down okay and where the water goes blood flow goes so not only will the blood flow go down and then the blood flow causes the muscles to relax on the way down but now you'll get deep into the joints and create some blood flow and some fluid in the joints that will not only feel better at the time but also it'll cause the joints to hydrate and feel better long term so as long as it's not an acute injury if it's an acute injury you want to use ice if it's an acute injury, you don't want to use heat because you're going to bring that blood flow in there. You don't want to do that. If it's long term, been going on for quite a while, sore, tight muscles, joints that kind of hurt, then you do want to use moist heat and not dry heat. Dry heat will cause pain later on, dehydration. Moist heat will cause the muscles to relax and to feel better. This is Dr. Jeff from Legacy Chiropractic.